Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a tag video. It feels ages since I've actually done a tag video, um, but I will do my best. This is going to be the midget freakout tag. I was tagged to do this by Lady Jane Books. And if you see me looking down, I've got the whole list of questions and I have planned ahead and written all the answers to all these corresponding questions. So with all that out the way, let's go straight to these questions. The first one is the best book you have read so far in 2021. That is probably gonna go to The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. This was a really great book as it was a very satisfying ending of a book because this got me so emotional because the first ever buddy read that I did on my channel was for the Fellowship of the Ring. That was my first ever buddy read and collaboration with another booktuber. And because I did that and I was finishing this up on my own, it got me very nostalgic for them reasons and it felt like, okay, I have finished the trilogy and I felt that I was just with Frodo and Sam going up to Mount Doom and finally destroying this ring of power and ending this trilogy. And um, it was just a really nice and cozy and warm, satisfying and nostalgic and sad ending of a series that I really enjoyed. So question two, best sequel you have read so far in 2021? That is probably the most easiest question I could answer for this tag. Without a doubt, that is Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. That is book two in his First Law trilogy. I also recently did a video on this with Gabby from Gabby's, Ar um, from Gabby's Arcanum. This took what book one introduced and it enhanced a plot around it and it improved the characters and it was so good, it really was. Um, I could have actually nitpicked that book to pieces, but I really enjoyed it. It was an absolute pleasure to pick it up and I can't wait to read the, fur the third and final book in the series. I'm sure it's going to be um, equal or if not better than the second one, but unfortunately I've got to read other stuff so... For now, it's got to be Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. Question three, a new release you haven't read but want to. I'm not sure I don't keep up with many new releases. I've got enough books in my room right now to keep me going um, for a um, while. But a book that I've chosen is The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I read the back of this, I can't remember, I can't remember much about it, but um, it sounded really awesome and um, I can't wait to get to it. It's, it's a horror and it sounded really gory and I'm excited to get to it whenever I have time. Question 4. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. That is probably going to go to Billy Summers by Stephen King. I don't know much about this book, I haven't read the synopsis. But because it's Stephen King, I'm going to read it anyway. I believe by the cover it might have something to do with a um, sniper that's living in a cabin in the mountains, as that's what's portrayed on the cover. But um, I'm excited to read it and um, see what I think about it. Question 5. Biggest Disappointment. That is definitely going to go to a book that I am currently listening to on audio right now, and that is Jaws by Peter Benchley. Yes, this is the novel that the Steven Spielberg movie of the same name was based on. This was this th this book had promise when it started off. The book starts off more or less how the movie starts, but it then delves into all these dinner parties and exploring all these characters' sexual uh, fantasies and it makes it drag along and also the shark for a big part of the book isn't actually physically 
in the book. It is mentioned, but there doesn't seem to be some sort of urgency to actually catch this shark so far. It just seems to be more of a nuisance than a um, thing that this town has to get 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 um, rid of. But I haven't finished it. Maybe it'll pick up at the end of the book. Whether I will care at that point, but. So far, Jaws is the biggest disappointment of 2021. Question six, biggest surprise. That is definitely gonna go to Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boll. I read this one at the start of the year and I, cause I wanted something easy and quick to read and cause this is really small. I chose this and I'm thinking, okay, you better be good, you better be good. I didn't really have high expectations of it. Obviously, I watched the movies that this book is based on. And quite frankly, I thought that I was going to get a copy and paste of the movie. And yes and no, half the book was like the movie with um, Charlton Heston. But the second half brought something new and more interesting to the table as it introduced a whole civilization with cities and with apes and monkeys in like clothing and suits and doing basically what you and I do every single day and um, it was a really really fun r ride it really was this isn't the most outstanding thing that I've ever read but it was the most fun and enjoyable novel that I have read in 20. 21 and for that this is the biggest surprise of the year so far question seven favorite new author debut or new to you this is a no-brainer for me as i am gonna go with joe abercrombie i have only read two books by him that them being the blade itself and before they are hanged but i really enjoy his writing style his world building although if you really think about it there really isn't much world building in the first two books in this first old trilogy it's more of a character driven story and um i like and i mean also i like his characters as well his characters are so rich and detailed he made one character in the first book that i didn't really like that much and in the second book he made him not one of my favorite characters but he made him to be more likeable to me. And I was actually even rooting for him when he was put in danger in the book. So I cannot wait to read more from Joe Abercrombie. I am definitely going to be reading more books and reviewing more books from him. So expect that to be on my channel. But yeah, Joe Abercrombie is my, is my favourite author of 2021. Question 8. Newest fictional crush... I don't have one as I don't fall in love with um, characters in books um, as they are fictional. Um, so I'm going to say none. Question nine. Newest favourite character. Now I have chosen two for this as they are both from the First Law trilogy. For book one I'm going to say Glotter as he is really dark and moody and he has so many layers to his personality you never know where you stand with Doctor but in the second book I liked uh, Logan Ninefingers more as he's more of a strong leader and a warrior and a fierce friend so I'm going to say Logan Ninefingers and Doctor from the First Law Trilogy Question 10 A book that made you cry I don't cry in books. If you do, that's cool. Obviously, if I'm reading and my um, eyes are tired, sometimes they water, but I never cry. I sometimes feel sad in books, but I never cry. Question 11. A book that made you happy? I am probably going to go with Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. This is such a light-hearted and fun book. It really is. I love it so much. I read it for the second time at the beginning of the year. Well, I listened to it on, on um, audio rather. And I really liked it. I can see me re rereading this numerous times. 
and not getting bored of it. It is so, so good. I really, really love this story. Question 12. Most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? I don't really tend to judge books by their cover. You, you, you can give me a book that is completely black and um, or one color or boring and I will read it because it may because the cover may be boring as hell but it might be the best book that you have ever read so I feel that you shouldn't really judge the book on their appearance such as life but I have chosen one that I received in my abominable book club box for this month and that is The Loop by Jerry Roberts I mean, Jeremy Robert Johnson. This is a really, really um, wonderful book to look at. And um, it's basic, it's not extremely detailed, but I like the overall look and feel of this book as a whole. And the last question, question 13. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I'm not sure. Um, I know I want to read more from Joe Abercrombie. I know I want to read more from Brandon Sanderson. And I know I want to read at least the next two books in the Witcher series. Them being Sword of Destiny and Blood of Elves. And I've got a hell of a ton of books to read in my room right now. Um, so I've got enough to keep me going for the year. Um, so... What whatever I get round to, I'll get round to, and whatever I don't get round to, I will read next year. So I've got to tag some people now, and I am going to be tagging Pax Panic, Bookish Chaz, Coffee Cats and King, Jester Book Freak, Kayla Lenzen, and Chris Reviews. I'm not sure if they have all done this video or not. Um, if, um, if you have, no no worries then. Um, you don't have to do this tag if you don't want to, but I'm just tagging you guys. So if you want to do it, that is great. So before I end this video, I just want to give two quick announcements. The first one being a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed to Pax Panic's channel. Because I gave her a massive shout out on my wrap up video that I recently did. And from that video, she went from six subscribers and she's now coming up to 23. If you have watched that video and if you have subscribed to her channel, um, thank you so much. It really means so much to me. And it is it, it really makes me feel nice that we are all supporting one another and um, like watching each other's videos. Um, that is... It, it, I mean, this is such a great community, it really is. So thank you for doing that, guys. It really meant a lot to me. Also, uh, just a quick reminder as well that Subscriber Month will be happening on the 1st of August. Basically, if you are subscribed to me, you can tell me what book you would like me to read in August. I am only going to be reading books that my um, subscribers have suggested to me. Don't comment down below in this video what book you would like me to read if you want to submit your request for subscriber month uh, i will have a uh, link down below so you can go to that video watch it and submit your request for a book that you would like me to read in august the closing day for that is the 31st of july so you have still got plenty of time to submit whatever book you would like me to read in august if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, ring that lovely bell, all that great stuff. You guys know what to do. Um, I will also have a link down below to all these channels, so it will take you right to their pages. And I will also have a link down below to all these questions, so if you have been tagged for this video, or if you want to do this video, please feel free. I will have a list of all the questions down below, so... It will make it more easier for you guys. I will also have down there a link to my Goodreads account. In case you want to follow me on Goodreads and see what I'm reading. And with all that out of the way, have a great day. Read some awesome books. And I will see you all in my next video.